Hello, my name's David McClelland, and I'm a tech journalist and a presenter. And I'm here today to help you out with some of your tech queries. So today I'm going to show you how to charge an iPod. Now, Apple's iPods come in all shapes and sizes and colours, all the way from the first iPod Classic back in 2001 to the Minis and the Nanos and more recently to the iPod Touches and to the iPhones. However, one thing can scupper all of these excellent devices and that's when they run out of battery. So what I'm going to do is show you how to charge your iPod. So taking a look at this iPod Touch, we can tell from the battery indicator at the top right that it's very close to running out of battery because uh, the, the battery looks empty and there's a little bit of red there at the side. So it's less than 20%, let's say. So how do we charge these up? Now at the bottom of all iPods, you'll see this little rectangular dock connector, and this is the key to charging it. Now, one of the things that you will need is one of these, and this is an iPod connector cable that ship with all iPods, and you can also buy new ones as well. Now at one end, you will also see a long rectangular plug. These two go into each other like this. Now the other end can go in one of two places. One of the easiest places is into the side of your computer. Now this is a USB connector and you can see that from the little USB symbol just there. And on the side of all computers these days, there will also be a USB connector there. So we just plug it in and away we go. Now something you may notice on your computer is that a couple of pop-ups tell you that it's loading some software and stuff. Don't worry about those, that'll only happen once. And after those are finished, a couple of minutes or so, your iPod will begin to charge. There is another way, however, and that involves using one of these. Now this is a mains adapter. It might look like this, that kind of slim version, or for older devices, it might look like this with a bit of a bump on the back. But both of them work in exactly the same way. You will see at the bottom here, and on the side on this one, there is a USB connector. So all you do is take this end of the cable, plug it in, and then plug this into the wall. And once again, that will start charging your iPod. Now, in terms of how long it takes to charge these, it varies depending upon what kind of iPod you have, but also depending upon how empty your battery is. It might take anything between half an hour up to three or four hours for older devices. And that's it, simple as that. That's how to charge an iPod.